All right, welcome back. What is this week? Uh, week eight. Week seven, eight. Right? Week yep. seven. Week eight. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I I think this is gonna be the shortest part. I don't think we make it longer than ten minutes tonight. I don't have <laughs> it. Like it's. I just I don't. This is right after the West Virginia game. I I think I'm officially done with them. I know I know it's hyperbole, but I'm just. This is it. Like it's. How do you? And it's nobody to blame. How they do you? Play- how do you score? A fifty-yard touchdown to win with twelve seconds left, and you lose. What? What are you gonna do? Why are you celebrating like that? Run to the sidelines, just whatever. I don't care, honestly. Dana took off his headset. Yeah, it was. I wa- they they show he took off his headset. Yeah, it's whatever. It they're like I said, it they're they're destined to fail because their coach is a fucking failure. So I mean, whatever. It is what it is. I am just crushed. I can't believe they lost that game. Garrett Green played the game of his life. I don't think and anybody. Yeah, yeah. he had the over secondary three did the best. The the secondary did the best they could with being losing two guys. So you know, whatever. This is um, a, like I don't know how the fellas get up off the mat after this one. Respectfully, like this could tank a season. I, I I'm not using hyperbole. Like if you're the team, you're like. Oh, we did like we can come back yeah. on anybody. We can do it. Two scores, and then it's like, oh, it doesn't matter. No, because this was the game where after this you're ranked. You're, you're yeah, you are ranked. Minutes, you win this, you're ranked. They're not going to be ranked. They're uh, they're probably going to lose. I mean, I don't care. I, I'm to be honest. I'm probably outside of gambling purposes. I won't watch another game this year. I just I hate Thursday games because we always lose them, and it's yeah. like, well, now I feel like all week and was ruined. Yeah, it's. Whatever. Like I said, I mean, they just they played ter- they played. How do you terrible. first off the announcers for this game, Tim Brando and uh, I don't even know what the other guy uh, Starling. Or sh- yeah. What's his name? Woeful job by them. Yeah. Like like we score a touchdown with 12 seconds left 50 yard bomb on fourth down and they're like big play. And like anytime Houston runs for six yards, they're like, this guy's electric. And it looks like it was it was so biased. It's bad. I don't even like to say stuff like that, but it was just no. a fact I of the mean- matter. Just for me, like I said, we, I, you know, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. I think they sucked. They, you know, I don't want to say they deserve to lose, but you know that you've been getting killed in the return game on special teams all night. Special teams, special teams killed them. Special teams and killed them. You could talk about the squib, kicking out of bounds, do what you want. But even the secondary, they played it right. They gave them the sideline, which you're supposed to do. You don't want to allow a big play. And the guy who knocked it down tried to knock it down. So, I mean, this isn't like a Miami situation where you're not knowing what to do and you're running the ball. It's just a circumstance that the team is what the coach is, and that is average. They'll never be great. And that just proved it tonight because great teams don't lose like that. Great teams win like that. I don't know how. I've never seen that. And it just sucks. It's like. It's always us. It's always us. I never is. see we we never win things like that. Like I thought no. for the first time in my life we were gonna have a pseudo Hail Mary last second winner. That never happens to us. The last time it happened was Will Greer at yeah. Texas. That was the last time it happened. And that was what, 2018? Six years yeah. ago? And like I said, now what they're gonna do, this is gonna be the worst nightmare because they'll win like seven games or six games. And we'll and have to hang like- on to Neil. Yeah, and whatever. I mean, whatever. It fucking sucked. They stink. That this game's gonna suck. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. So. No, I'm literally not gonna sleep tonight. Let's just get into the recap. Let's get the picks. Let's get out of here because I right. don't do this right now. So, right, Northern yeah. Illinois minus four winner. Rice loser. Wait, hold on. What's the records? What's the records? Uh, we like everything. We literally uh, we each went for zero units last week. <laughs> so you went. I was three and four. You were two and three. Uh, we both hit our big play, lost our littles. So uh, pretty much you're at 18 and a half. I'm at four and a half. Nothing has changed. Uh, literally a, a straight. We went uh, five and seven last week, but our big units play. So good enough that we didn't lose money on a down week, but uh, three and four for me, two and three for you, zero units. So I went through this morning, double checked. Uh, close losses, Colorado, one by four instead of three. Ohio won by 25 instead of 26. So we were around the number with that. But other than that, just, you know, whatever. A pretty solid week. But all right, I'm ready to do the picks. 
Okay. Get them. Uh, uh, I lost fifty dollars money line on West Virginia because of that. I I got killed. I just I I, got, <laughs> I had literally every single way they could bet them, and I'm like I I can't believe I had I, I can't believe they lost the game. But I've whatever. never seen that. I've never seen that before. I've life. never. I'm just. I'm just done. I'm right. I'm excited about college football, but I'm just. I'm done with them. Like, I'm not I'm just, excited about college I'm football anymore. I'm ready to bet. Like what? Like we weren't expecting them to be good, but like I said, this shit's just fucking exhausting with them. Like they're the most. Like that's why I don't ever hear any Boston or oh we're tortured. You're not. You. You're not. You've won a lot. This is. We can't even reach mediocrity. I so. can't even get to six wins without turning yeah. my hair gray. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what everybody's like, oh, it's the most tortured fan base. No, it's not. It's not. You're self-entitled. Like I said, anything, you know, we get to a national championship, Major Harris gets hurt. We get to an Elite Eight, Deshaun Baller blows out his knee. It's Final Four, actually. Final Four, thank you. We play Pitt in our biggest game, Pat White gets hurt. Like, it's just like, no, it's we're destined to be failures. So that's what it is. It's what it's always going to be. And no matter what you do, no matter how much money, it's not going to change. So I got four picks. I got one, two, three. I got four, two. Um, okay, I'll go first. Go for it. UNLV minus nine and a half against Nevada. Nevada's the worst team in the country. How much? Nine one and unit. Half. One unit. What was the line? On? I'm sorry. Nine and a half. 9.5. One unit. Yeah. Also, folks, if you're curious, check the under out in that game. There's a lot of bad weather this week. I don't know. Saturday, so. Sunday. What else you got? Uh, I got Rutgers minus five against Michigan State. Michigan State's quit. West like West Virginia's gonna quit the rest of the year. I looked at that. I looked at the Rutgers. I'll go. I'll go. Two. You know they're five zero and one, or in some places six and zero against the spread this year. Rutgers has been good. I I looked at that Rutgers line pretty well. I have uh I have two straights and two teasers this week. So I'll start with a straight. Um, Kentucky minus two and a half, two unit play. I like That's, that. A lot of you'll see a lot of trends or teams that I think are getting a little counted out this week. Kentucky minus two and a half. Mizzou, obviously, they've proved that they can fight back. The LSU, they kind of took it to them, but Kentucky's still a better team at home. Laying less than a field goal, I think that's a two-unit two, po- two unit play for me, so give me that for two units. And then I'm going to go in another buyback situation. Kansas State plus one and a half. That's a one-unit play. But okay. uh, I don't think they're going to – I don't think K-State's going to lose again. Uh, I don't really trust that K-State's not going to get up off the mat for this game. So give me Kentucky minus two and a half, K-State minus or excuse me plus one and a half one unit okay um i got oregon plus three one unit i like them on the field this year they're the more they're the more complete team than washington yeah i got something with that coming up uh i'll got i'm actually gonna do a seven point teaser i'm gonna do oregon (laughs) plus 10 tennessee under 63 so (laughs) <laughs> that's a uh, excuse me. That is a one unit, or no? That's actually going to be a two unit play. I'm sorry, that's a two unit play. Okay. So I mean, rationale is pretty good for that. I agree with Frankie. Oregon, better team, catching ten. Uh, I do like the three. I'll probably actually play the three as well. But uh, I like Oregon plus ten for a little security in case Washington does kind of take it to them. Uh, you know, you can get over that three number easy, and then under sixty three. <laughs> A and M safeties are a little, or secondary is a little leaky, but sixty three points is a lot for an A and M team that takes a long time to score. Uh, all that takes is a couple field goals, and that under is soaring in. Yeah, the game doesn't feel over, by the way. What West Virginia? Uh, it feels over for me. So. It does, like it feels like they're like the refs are going to be like, oh wait, no, we fucked up. Uh, no, all night, like I said, they just. I mean, it wasn't. Pen- it's not even anything. You can't be mad. It wasn't penalties. It wasn't this. It wasn't the. Pe- it wasn't Garrett Green's penalty. It wasn't coaching. It was just a culmination of that's West Virginia football. I don't even know what Garrett Green did, and if he did it on the sideline, that's not a flaggable offense. I, I think I guarantee. I bet he took his helmet off. Which they whatever. said he waved the fans goodbye, but if he did that on the sideline, that's not a flaggable offense. I mean, whatever. that's not. I mean, that's just the rule. Like I that that's the that's rule. That's just that's just the thing where West. If you did it in the end zone, yeah, you can flag him for it. But sideline, you can't flag him for it. West Virginia is destined to lose every. The only thing that could save the season, they fire Neil Brown because he's never going to give him above anything. Like this is just peak. He had to win this game. He had it in his hand, and he lost it. So, but that was. I mean, honestly, I how do you that kick it to the guys that are like full on killing us on special teams? Just. I, I don't know. I, I truly don't know. Like, I don't even – I can't even be mad or critical of them because I'm like, I don't know how they lost this game. They just – The ball gets tipped and the guy's in the end zone. It's at this point and after all – Also, I've, also, if you're a Houston fan, shut up. You don't exist. Like, yeah. you, you, like you had a Texas oil yeah, guy lobby for you to be in the Big 12. Open. 
You had you had a Texas oil man lobby for you to be in the Big 12, and you don't even show out to a Thursday night primetime game. Like, you don't exist. I'll see you in basketball season when you guys flame out inevitably. But, like, where are you guys? Where are you? Like I said, even for this, I don't even feel anything. It's just, at this point, it's just destiny. We're always going to be losing the worst way possible. Never get over the hump. Just be a, you know, and especially once it gets, you consolidate, it will be a mid-major. So God, and the thing, everybody's going to talk about this all weekend. It's going to be videos all of this weekend. all weekend. And I'm just going to look at them and be like, you don't understand that this is every year something like this happens. And uh, I guarantee you if Hudson Clement, if that counted and that won the game, they were not showing that. No. They're not showing that all week. Nope. I got one more. I got one more pick. Give me the one more. Two units, Wake Forest, plus one and a half at Virginia Tech. Why is Virginia Tech favored to anybody? I have no idea. They are, they're one of the teams that might just be completely – they might not win another game this year. I, don't I know will they, say this, though. They did show some promise when they put in their other quarterback. They took out Garrett yeah. Wells, and they took out this – they got this guy who can run a little bit. Uh, but I think Pitt just actually stinks. So I'm going to go back to the well one more time to see if I can beat Virginia Tech. And if I can't, then their other quarterback is okay. Yeah, he's not terrible. All right, I got a final because it because it won last week. I'm going to do another sweetheart teaser. This is one of my best ones. Colorado minus one, Utah minus one, the Michigan game over 34 and a half. Uh, that's going to be a minus 110 sweetheart parlay. So obviously Utah is minus 11. Colorado is minus 11. Yeah. And then the over in Michigan is 45 and a half. So you're going to bring those all down uh, 10 points. So Colorado minus one, Utah minus one over Michigan. Excuse me, it's 35 and a half. Let me double check. 35 and a half. Sorry. Yeah. So you're going to get that. Uh, Michigan's probably going to get that by themselves. But if Indiana even gets you seven points, that's going to come in easy. Uh, that is a that's going to be a one unit play for me, though, because I want to have three, two units. I want to at least keep keep the variance pretty good. But. Let me recap these, make sure I didn't miss anything. UNLV minus nine and a half, one unit. Rutgers minus five, one unit. Oregon plus three, one unit. And then Wake Forest plus one and a half, two unit play. Uh, For me, I got Kentucky minus two and a half, two units. Oregon plus 10. Tennessee under 63, two units. You can just find that you can either make that a seven point teaser or do the alt spreads. Uh, Kansas State plus one and a half, one unit. I think K-State bounces back. Colorado minus one, Utah minus one. Over Michigan, 35 and a half. Uh, you just select the lines, play it as a 10 point. You can play the all spreads if you want. It should be around minus 110 to minus 115 for that. Uh, just a one unit, but Colorado's not losing. Utah's not losing. And then over Michigan, unless Michigan absolutely wins like 31 nothing. Yep. To, that's probably the riskiest leg, but I think Michigan I like that. I like that. I like that Kentucky pick too. Um, okay. Kentucky, back. Okay. Uh, under on that one might be the play too. I'm telling you, dude, weather. Yeah, weather. it is going to be, and that's the Mac. That's why the Mac, why the I, Mac, the Mac is going to be bad. Watch out for the weather in the Mac this week. That's folks. why I backed off uh, the USC Notre Dame game because that's going to be bad weather. So we don't know what we're going to get. Honestly, I don't. USC completely doesn't show up for the first half, and Notre Dame who gets out to play football for you know at least fifteen minutes a game. So I don't, I don't really know what to do. Okay, uh, one last segment. It's time for Stump the Schwab. Let's see if I can pull him out. Let's see if I can pull him out. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Who won the Heisman in 2012? 2012. RG3? It was RG3. He nailed it. Was it? Yeah. yeah. All RG3, right. Baby. Who? Let me think of a good one. Because uh, I'm going to ask you three. Okay, give me. I got one for one. I guess I do. I have to ask college football, considering it's, it's a college football yes, you podcast. Can ask whatever you like, you know, you can shoot from the hip. No baseball. No okay. Baseball. Uh, who's the only person to win the Heisman twice? Archie Griffith. Okay, nailed it. Archie Griffith. Who, yeah. Who is the most cursed organization in collegiate sports? Oh, it's West Virginia football. Honestly, oh, oh, nailed it. It's nailed just, it. Three it's, for three. It's absolutely. It's I. I can't even believe like. I wish they would have just got fucking slaughtered tonight because I was Truly. Like, all right. But the fact that they actually showed something, you're like, you know what? If they win this game, the they fact might that they came, the, the fact that they came back and won. And now all I can think of, it's like they padded their wins against bad teams. Neil probably did enough to keep his job. And now I have to deal with another three years of this. But like I said, I have freed myself. <laughs> I no longer care. I, I don't, I honestly don't fucking care anymore because I've, I've, I've been as optimistic as possible for, Almost 25 years. That's big. And every time I get kicked in the dick and it keeps getting worse and somehow I'm like, this can't be worse. And then, you know, wake up and watch a game like this. But we're going to get some winners. Uh, 
like I said, these were all picks that we were looking at early this week. I like doing the Thursday pods. I feel like another day kind of does help me. Like even like I would have definitely been on the over in the end and the Notre Dame game before the weather reports came out. So kind of nice to get that. We, um, we were winning. Be... We were winning. We were up by four with 12 seconds left. Yeah, I know. We were up by four with 12 seconds left and they literally did what you couldn't do is commit a field goal or excuse me, commit a penalty, allow a 15 yard out and allow Hail Mary, which is like, that's if you had to be like one of those three things can't happen. They allowed them. And I don't know. This, I literally this, said, I literally said on that first play, I was like, don't give them the quick out. Yeah. And they gave them the quick out. And even like I said, I was in bed, I was watching. I'm like, as soon as he dropped back, I was like, they're going to score. Yeah. Like, oh, any as soon other, as they saw him roll out. Also, uh, also, I want it documented that two West Virginia D linemen got held bad yeah. on that play. I mean, that, they had three holding penalties get picked up, picked yeah. up. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just, like I said, that left point, tackle for Houston, everyone says is so good, just bear hugged him. It was sad. It was a blatant hold. I, like I said, at this point, it's just, I don't know what to do. They're just. They're I can't believe we lost. That's their first conference win. Yeah, that's against. That's hilarious. Coach, against fucking Dana, which if that doesn't prove that it is an absolute curse that Dana leaves to probably save his job, and yeah, he was he was getting fired. He was getting fired. He says they lose to Texas job. next week. Yeah, and he probably saved Neil's job, which is somehow unfucking believable that it happened that way but it did and that's uh if it if it, it, it it's like it's the worst case scenario played it really out is. it did like if you were to ask me before the season like how, what's the worst thing that could happen i probably couldn't even thought of this it'd be and like eight and like, four wow. and we keep eight and four and we keep neil and we're gonna like i wanted neil. five and seven and we fire neil i just i don't know i'm like i said i'm actually done watching them because that's it's fucking unbelievable i don't i don't want to root what am i rooting for I, if i root for him to win and they keep neil or i root for him to lose and they just we were gonna go 10 and 2 didn't you know yeah well now we're gonna win eight or nine games and who cares i bought a big bottle of fucking nothing but no well, we just lost to one of the, the worst team in the conference yeah and like I said, so now I got to watch them go up and down. And like I said, wasted a great Garrett Green game. Who I mean, whatever. If you wasted wanna... a great Devin Carter game, Devin Carter he wasted dropped it. Wasted it. Wasted a great Hudson Clement game. Our yeah, receivers don't have games like that. No, Hudson Clement played absolutely great. I mean, the, that play was insane. Cole Taylor was big down the end, but I mean, that whole thing with fucking with I was, Green, we like, we were building the stat. I was building the yeah. statue. I was yeah. building the Neil. The Hudson and the Garrett Green <laughs> Garrett statue. Green. I was building all three of them simultaneously, and then I had to yeah. tear them all down. And I feel bad for Garrett Green because he's inevitably going to catch a lot of flack for it on Twitter and shit. But I'm like, dude, balled out. Like, it, dude, just I, the fuck out. If he did that on the sideline, that's not a penalty. I swear to God. I, I didn't even see. Like I said, it was another one they called so fucking late that it was just like, you know, whatever. But that's typical. They I tried said. to give Houston that game any way they could. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah. I swear to God, the refs tried to give it to Houston any way they could. Yeah, and that's you know that's that's what happens. So I don't know, man. Listen, we're gonna get some winners this week. Tim Brando, go back to broadcast school, man. Oh, heinous, I, heinous call. Timmy B was rooting for Houston, man. He had some, it was he had blatant. It was obvious. He had ten dimes on him. My only regret is that I didn't think about buying out as soon as they scored. And if, I didn't. I didn't even. It didn't even cross my mind. If didn't I wouldn't have mind. been so excited, if it would have been any of like, if I would have thought, I was like, Western's probably gonna lose this game somehow. I don't know how, but I didn't think about it. So, whatever. Say love you. All right. I'll see you. Peace, my brother. Take it easy.